Yo, what is up guys, I'm back in with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Corsair HS55 uh, headphones. Now, these are a uh, recent pair of headphones that just came out by Corsair, and uh, to be honest, they're fairly good, I'm not gonna lie. Before we get into that, just make sure you follow me on Instagram and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos. So let's get right in. So first things first, uh, they do look good and they feel good as well. In fact, uh, it goes far to say they feel really uh, professional, just the way the logo is embroidered uh, on top of the headphones. To be honest, I think it's just fairly, fairly well done when it comes to the overall look of it. Just even further how they paid attention to the small details and nooks and crannies. There really isn't any clucking or clacky sounds uh, when it comes to twisting, uh, except when you try to extend uh, the headphones over your head. And I really like the fact that there isn't any rotational noise uh, when you try to twist the headphones. And uh, part of that is just goes back to uh, making it look and feel good when it comes to headphones. Having some that just don't have the look, sound, and quality that you would like. Over time, they get old really quick. I really like the fact that these uh, stay smooth, stay clean, and uh, just stay professional looking. And the next most important thing for me when it comes to headphones is obviously the comfort. Both the ear cushions and the headrest are made of uh, memory foam, so uh, when it comes to putting them on, comfort is definitely not an issue. But the one thing I will say about the wrapping of these headphones is the fact that the ear cushions are made out of uh, leatherette. Leather isn't the best for trying to keep you cool because uh, the more you sweat, uh, the more it just gets uncomfortable on your ears. So I definitely wouldn't have gone with the leatherette covering for the cushion. The headrest, I don't really mind. But for the cushions, I think there may be a different type of a fabric just to cover it. That is uh, more uh, heat absorbent, just to make it more comfortable and to cause less perspiration around your ears. Just to kind of keep everything cool, clean, and simple. Now the microphone is an omnidirectional microphone and uh, it is Discord approved. But the only thing is I thought it did feel kind of flimsy. But the good part is uh, there is audio mute. Um, when you have the microphone extended, you can use it however you want. But when you do uh, flip it over, it automatically uh, mutes the microphone for itself, which is kind of a good thing to get the airline remotes off the wire of the head. And just to kind of make everything a little minimalist, the only issue is the microphone extension is just a little kind of too flimsy for my liking. You also do have the volume dial on the headphone itself, just to kind of keep everything on one area and not to have everything kind of bloated and uh, be all over the place. Kind of keeping everything just minimalist as possible uh, when it comes to the microphone and uh, the dial itself. That does go a long way to just keeping everything uh, as simple as possible. And just to add to the positive, it is multi-platform compatible. And I think of course that's an obvious given because it has a 3.5mm jack. So pretty much anything that can be connected via 3.5mm uh, is compatible with these headphones. Regardless of platform, as long as you can plug it in, you can use it. Now what is a good pair of headphones without good sound quality? And uh, to be honest, I have to say I was uh, pleasantly surprised. Um, the headphones actually did do a good job. Uh, in terms of just overall uh, sound quality, uh, in terms of volume, I still would prefer uh, louder headphones. I still think they do manage to get the job done. So their overall sound quality is much better than I initially thought. That's something I always value because uh, when it comes to hearing um, the high frequencies, low pitches, it's always important to kind of get the overall raw output of everything just so I can be able to make a clear picture of what I'm hearing. But last but not least, um, when it comes to comfort, obviously the cushions and uh, the frame that you're going to be using are definitely important but the weight is also something that a lot of people don't factor in and these come in at about 273 grams so just under half a pound that does go a long way when it comes to comfort because you have to think about the fact that you will be putting these on your head however long you can estimate for yourself and the weight does go a long way now of course i did bag on the fact that it does have leather coating which isn't typically which typically isn't my favorite but the weight does also go a long way in trying to uh, just give you enough uh, head rest you won't feel too much weight on your head causing you too much discomfort and for me personally Personally, that's something I value a lot when it comes to um, the overall quality of uh, headphones. Obviously the frames are important and the material is important, but the weight is something I think people overlook a lot. And I think these definitely go a long way into at least trying to balance everything and giving you an overall uh, good pair of headphones that you might enjoy. So overall conclusion for me, uh, how much do I value these and how much would I recommend these? To be honest, I really would recommend these 
um, for anybody that just wants a good quick pair of headphones um, obviously my one knock is the leather but I don't think it's gonna take too much away from anybody that's just looking for for something to enjoy uh, talking to their friends with or being in in game chat with um, I definitely do think they do to get the job done definitely minimalist if you're someone that values that and the audio quality isn't bad in my opinion I think it does get the job done there's a lot of good in these headphones considering if you don't want to break the bank for any new pair of headphones I definitely would recommend these but that's been it for me let me know what you think if you're gonna get a pair or maybe you already own one and make sure to follow me on instagram and subscribe for more videos once again i'm jadija peace